Hi guys, this is DMNC. Welcome to our channel. Subscribe and don't forget to the bell icon. We did have an unfair advantage. The episode 30 of Queen the Greatest video of series focuses on the band's legendary 20 minute show at Live Aid in 1985. Freddie Mercury's band assembled a rapid fire collection of hits as they took their turn on the Wembley Stadium in London. Their set, watched by 72,000 people in the venue and 1.9 billion people on TV, has become regarded as one of the best live rock performances of all time, revitalizing Queen's career. We did have an unfair advantage, guitarist Ryan May says. We had done football stadiums, Freddie particularly learned his magical way of involving everybody. In a huge football stadium, he could make everybody feel like they were in contact. May admitted, however, that the band doubted whether Bob Gildop's ambitious live aid plans would work out after he asked them to take part during an award ceremony. Gildop was a few tables away and he came over and said, how about doing this thing? And he said, we are going to have this and this and this. Mary calls, we said, oh yeah, I'm sure, you know, thinking about it was an almost impossible thing to get together. By the time Gildoff asked me to commit to the show, he said, we were all very keen to do it. Roger Taylor notes, I remember looking up and seeing the whole place just going completely bonkers in unison and thinking, oh, this is going well. There were ulterior motives, he adds. No, it wasn't a career move, but of course, that's in the back of everybody's mind. We did have an unfair advantage. We had done football stadiums. Freddie particularly learned this magical way of involving everybody in a huge football stadium. He could make everybody feel that they were in contact. I've been looking up and seeing the whole place going completely bonkers in unison and thinking, oh, this is going well.